Well, we're on the move today. We're going from Lower Hayford, uh, just five miles to uh, Aino, Aino Wharf. And uh, we've got to fill up with water. <laughs> Fortunately, this morning the coal boat came past us, so we managed to get six bags of coal on board. And uh, we've got three locks, one of which is just about half a mile ahead. And uh, also the last lock of the day, Summerton Deep Lock which is the second deepest narrow lock on the system. It's about 12 foot deep. It doesn't sound much, but when you're in there, uh, you do notice it. So yeah, another gray, miserable, mucky day. Dogs are in heaven, in the canal, out the canal, in the mud, out the mud. But uh, yeah, let's go. Side. She's too cold standing on the back, so she's got to put the kettle on to make a hot drink. And it isn't that cold today, but when you're just standing on the back, not moving, not walking, not doing the locks, it does get cold. But uh, fortunately, we've not got far to go, only another three miles and uh, one more lock. Hovering in the middle of the canal, Fran's gone ahead to open up the last lock of the day, Summerton Deep Lock. And it's a lovely aspect, this lock. It's got a beautiful house on the side of it. So yeah, as I said, it's the second deepest narrow lock in the country.
what you're doing, Rich? <laughs> I'm colouring in and uh, I'm trying to be a good boy and not go over the lines. And this map was sent to us from the lovely Joe uh, from Minimalist. Uh, many of you will know Joe and Michael from Minimalist the YouTube channel. And she's designed this in the style of, uh, I guess, London Underground maps. And it shows all the navigable routes in England and Wales and there for you to colour in where you've been. But the fascinating thing is Joe and Michael have done the whole system. They've done everything, including crossing the wash in Lincolnshire. Absolutely amazing. So uh, I'm really, it's going to be interesting, isn't it, to see how far we've actually done. What do you think? About half? Oh, no way. Quarter or a third? <laughs> Quarter or a third, I reckon. We're going to be going for some years yet. We've yet. done some canals twice, haven't we? Like this one we're yeah. on there, the Oxford, you know. And the first year we did so much because we were going everywhere so quickly. And now we've slowed right down, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, we so. have. So yeah. while I've got this map out, I've brought to mind, I thought we'd um, have a quick chat to you about what our plans are for this year coming up. So currently we're here in Banbury. Uh, we've been down to Oxford uh, for Christmas, as you know. We're heading back up the Oxford Canal, then across here to Braunston, up back up the Leicester uh, arm of the Grand Union Canal, then up the River Saw to Loughborough, and then when we get to the junction here, with the Trent and Mersey Canal that way, and the River Trent this way, we'll be back on new territory again. So we've never done this, have we, Fran? The we River, haven't, River no. Trent. So we're gonna go up the River Trent, past Newark, up to Torxley Junction here, and then into Lincoln, and that's as far as we're going to go down the uh, Fosdyke Canal. We're not going to do all this this time round. Then back up, then onto the Chesterfield Canal, which we're really looking forward to. Apparently, that yeah. is um, you've been really wanting pretty. to do that for ages, yeah. haven't yeah. you? Yeah, so we're going so. to do that. Spend a few weeks along there, up to Keedby, and then these um, South Yorkshire canals I've, we've never done. So it's going to be really interesting. It's quite flat this land around here and quite industrial in places. Up past Castleford and then onto the Leeds and Liverpool Canal, through Leeds, up to Skipton, beautiful Skipton, and then all the way back down here to Wigan, and then up to the Ribble Link, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, get onto the Lancaster Canal for winter. So it will be Christmas 2022, somewhere up here with a bit of luck. But we'll see, because changes always happen to our plans, don't they? Oh, they it's... do. And we, we spend so long and we go so slow, so we do change plans often as well. And it's all subject, isn't it, as well, to the rivers the rivers being navigable and not in flood or anything. So uh, fingers crossed on it's that. It's really exciting, though, because this stretch is really nice. We can have another fabulous curry in Leicester. Oh, yeah. And there were some things that we didn't get to do in Leicester when we were there. Um... And obviously these bits are all new to us anyway. I don't mind the industrial areas. It's a real bit of interest when you see all the canal history. Um, one of the shames about um, Banbury, where we are now, is that it's such a historic place as far as the canals are concerned and it's been lost in the development of it. There's still old parts in town, but Tooley's boatyard has just been swallowed up. Savaged by retail so, developments. But it will be nice to do those industrial bits before we get up to proper... Yorkshire hills and walking and yeah, no, new boots maybe. I can't wait. I used to live in, in near York many moons ago and I can't wait to get back up there and uh, do some cruising in Yorkshire again. So this is the third time that we've tried to get up there this year, I think. Yeah. Um. So fingers crossed that we get up there and see if we stick to our plans. <laughs>
found some blue sky to walk under. It's an absolutely gorgeous day today. God, it's shining right in my eyes, but that's okay. We've had um, grey, murky days for about four or five days now, and it's not inspiring for doing big walks, is it? No. And today we woke up to this and dropped all our plans and um, and came for this gorgeous walk. We had some plans, didn't we? Well, no, we didn't have plans, but we just whatever was going to happen, we were going to walk. You have to make the most of the weather when it's like this. So we're in the beautiful village of Adderbury. We're doing a circular walk about... Uh, eight miles today somebody down there wants to get going again but he's just gonna have to wait <laughs> and this village is absolutely stunning first mention of it in a will written in about 950 I think yeah, yeah. and we're at the St Mary's Church here which is uh, dates from the 13th century added on of obviously over the centuries but it's absolutely beautiful such a big church for for well, what is a big village actually isn't it and some massive houses here it's unbelievable it's obviously always been a wealthy area isn't yeah. it i mean this close to oxford and obviously then even in the past london accessible it's a wealthy area and um yeah it's a little bit of a gem to find we didn't expect this and you don't know about these villages there's nothing particular to tell you about it it's just gorgeous absolutely wonderful Notable people who have lived here, Anthony Burgess, the uh, author, and John Craven, man from the BBC, lives here. I bet he's got a big house. Yeah. He's been paid by the BBC all his life, so he must have a big we, house. We might be here one day, you know. <laughs> we are on our boat, <laughs> which is about the, three miles away. The, the um, graveyard, there's loads and loads of tombstones of uh, people whose surname is Gardner. But we've decided they probably weren't gardeners, so there's not a lot of chance for us, is there? <laughs> so we're on a bit of a mission this year. We've um, decided to up our walking again. Um, we've got this app we've downloaded that we're doing a virtual um, walk from Land's End to John O'Groats. So how many miles we do, it just plots as if you were doing the route from Land's End to John O'Groats. It's quite fun. So uh, that's given us the incentive to get more miles done. Where are we now? Truro? Oh, I think we are past like Truro, yeah. We're on our way to uh, Exeter. <laughs> it just makes you walk a little bit more exciting. first thing we do when we get back is look and see where we are down in Cornwall. <laughs> <laughs> so we better get this walk completed How then. How far are we? Halfway through? No, oh, just over halfway, I think. I think we've got about another three, three and a half miles to go. We were supposed to be home at two o'clock and it's half past one now. Yeah. So we're not going to make that, are we? No. We stopped off at the shop, got some lunch, come back here and sat on the bench in the sunshine. It's just nice. And uh, We've yeah, left it's wonderful. Dinner is half cooked on the stove. There's a, a lentil sauce just warming on the stove. But oh. Archie, be quiet. Um, we've got vegetable moussaka tonight. So that's half cooked. It won't be too bad when we get back. Great. Right, let's do this then. See you in a bit. Let's keep walking. Cheers. Well, we're back. This uh, sun's disappeared again, but uh, these walks always take longer than we think, don't they? I don't think we're too bad. I think we're um, just over an hour late, but we do stop to look at things a lot, don't we? And so... film and video things, yeah, and take pictures all the time. So I uh, have um, lunch at the church. Yeah, it's been a <laughs> lovely day out. So it's uh, time for a cup of tea now, Fran. Get the kettle on. Yeah, I've still got some syrup cake left, I think. So. A cup of tea, a piece of cake, put our feet up. Right, let's do that then.
lovely bright sunny morning here we are at Aino Weir Lock it's an odd shaped lock lozenge shaped so called because uh, Aino Weir is just the other side of the lock where the river Charwell flows across the canal sometimes the lock is closed because the river's flowing too fast you can't get through but uh, we haven't had rain for a couple of weeks really to speak of and uh, so everything's good good clear to go so uh, six miles to do today four locks and a uh, lovely day to do it, so uh, let's get this thing done. Grant's Lock Cottage just about survived the assault of arsonists recently and now has been sold for renovation. So I've finished colouring the mapping and I'm really surprised at how much we've actually done, Fran. It's amazing. <laughs> I did think it might be about half. We've got some little gaps in and around Birmingham and a few bits on the ends that we never ever got to. Whether or not we get back and do those bits down on the south of London, down into Kent, Surrey, even. Yes. Um, but yeah, we've done loads. And as you can see, it all ended up one colour because to do different colours for different years was a bit complicated when some canals were done four times. <laughs> so. <laughs> well, looking forward to colouring in the rest this year. Yes, all of that. <laughs>